In this video, we're going to talk about trigonometric ratios. In particular, instead of the sine, the cosine, and the tangent, we're going to talk about the reciprocals, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Now, I started off by writing the formula so katoa. That's the acronym for sine, cosine, and tangent. The the reciprocal of sine is the cosecant, which is actually I'm going to put this in here, and I'll reduce the size down. The cosecant is the reciprocal, so it's actually the the cosine of an angle is actually equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse divided by the opposite. The secant of, a, of an angle is equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse divided by, let me make that, I make that a little bit better, h divided by the adjacent side. And the cotangent of an angle is instead of opposite over adjacent, is equal to the adjacent side divided by the opposite side. So let's, let's put up a right triangle. This is only for right triangles. And we're just going to do the most famous Pythagorean triplet, which is 3, 4, 5. And suppose this is our unknown angle x. Well, to start this off, you always write down um, relative to x what the other sides are. Well, this is the hypotenuse, this is the opposite side, and this is the adjacent. So let's use this bottom part of our formula today. So the cosecant of x is equal to the hypotenuse over the opposite, which is 5 divided by 3. And the secant of x is equal to the hypotenuse, which is 5, divided by the adjacent of 4. And lastly, the t cotangent of x is equal to the adjacent side, which is 4, divided by the opposite side of 3. Let's continue with some examples. I wrote down, started with so, katoa, and I have some, the reciprocals, the cosecant, the secant, the cotangent. So let's start by labeling the what we have, and we don't have the units, just 10 units, and this is x. We're looking for x, and we're going to be using the bottom part of the formula, the cosecant, the secant, and the cotangent. Let's see which one we need. The opposite of 40 is x. I'm going to change the color. Ooh, I just changed the board. All right, so that's kind of fun. It's really cool. All right, this is opposite, and this is the hypotenuse. So O and H is the sine. But instead of sine, we're going to do the cosecant. So the cosecant of 40 degrees is equal to, um, instead, of, instead of over H, is the reciprocal. So it's H over O, which is 10, divided by X. So in other words, if you cross multiply, 10 is equal to the cosecant of 40 times x, or x is equal to, that side is equal to 10 divided by the cosecant of 40. Let's try another example. Okay, so here I've got another example, and they're looking for height, and this is 100 meters. So we're going to first label what we have here, and across from 40 is the opposite, and this is the adjacent side. So O and A, we're going to put it in cotangent. The cotangent of 40 degrees is equal to, instead of um, it's going to be the reciprocal of this, which is adjacent divided by opposite. So it's going to be 100 divided by opposite, which is um, h. So cotangent of 40, I'm going to undo that, times h, I'll put the h on the side, is equal to 100. Or that side h is equal to 100 divided by the cotangent of 40. Let's try another example. And so now we have a different example, so let's label this. And this is relative to 35 degrees. This is the 90 degrees. This is the hypotenuse. And this is the adjacent. So we're going to be looking at the cosine one, in this case the secant. And I always kind of write it out so I just remember that the, I have to res make these the opposite, opposite of each other. So the secant of 35 is equal to the hypotenuse, which is 8, divided by x. And cross-multiplying, we have x times the secant of 35 is equal to 8, or x is equal to 8 
divided by the secant of 35. And I'm going to put up one more example here. And suppose someone asked you, well, what is the cotangent of 10 degrees? Well, it's equal to 1 over the tangent of 10 degrees. So let me show you how to find that on your calculator because there isn't a cotangent button that I know of exactly. So what you're going to do is you're going to write, find out what tangent um, of 10 is. 10 tangent is 0.176. So it's equal to 1 divided by 0.176. So going back to our calculator, it's equal to 1 divided by 0.176 or 5.68. Now let's try a different one. Suppose someone asked you, what is the cosecant of 29? Well, you go to your formula, it's 1 over the sine of 29. So let's go to calculator, and you can actually do it like this. 1 divided by 29, and then just hit the sine button, equals, and it's 2.06. And let's try now that we're here, the secant. So someone asked you the secant of 80 degrees. That's equal to 1 over the cosine of 80 degrees. So let's try that out on our calculator. 1 divided by 80 degrees cosine equals, and it's 5.76. I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.